So I've spent the past few days testing the newest build of OpenPilot, which is 0.7.1, and it has a significant improvement, which is the model is now a combined uh, PoseNet and driving model. And this uh, situation that happened to me a couple days ago is something that uh, really impressed me, and this is due to the new driving model. So I wanted to show you this. Um, I've got the camera view from the Eon uh, here, and I've overlaid the uh, CAN data of the OpenPilot acceleration deceleration command. This is basically how it controls longitudinal. So it is, uh, this is meters per second squared over on the left. This is seconds, so this is time. And this is basically OpenPilot commanding to decelerate if we're slowing down, or once it goes above zero, this is acceleration, and then back to deceleration. So uh, I had a cut-in situation here where you see this car on the left. He decides he wants to get into my lane. He doesn't use his turn signal, though. He just starts moving over. Um, he move, moves over pretty quickly, and you can see here that at about this frame, OpenPilot has recognized that the car is starting to cut in, and starts reacting. So what's going on here is uh, the model is tracking all these cars in time so and it knows their movements. So it has learned you know where cars are in the scene and how they're moving and it's trying to predict where they're going to be in the future. Similar to what a human would do. So a human would you know see this car start shifting and start slowing down because they know you know a couple seconds later it's going to be in front of them. And this is exactly how OpenPilot's uh, machine learning model um, understands the scene and reacts. So here it's already started decelerating as the car comes into the lane and it gets to about max deceleration here. And this car is obviously trying to speed up so we can let off the brakes a little bit, but uh, it broke pretty quickly. And uh, they said this is 1087, 1088, that's one second of time elapsed there. So this is like maybe, you know, half a second or a little bit, three quarters of a second to hit the brakes. Um, it really surprised me. Usually I wait to see how OpenPilot reacts to these things, but it reacted so quickly, you know, I was caught off guard. I didn't think OpenPilot would react this quickly, and it just surprised me, which is why I'm showing you this video right now. So it reacts... Um, it hits max braking right here. It's still slowing down, but it's easing off the brakes to match speed with the car in front of us. And um, so now I'm going to show you uh, some more data and how the stock system would have reacted here. Um, and the main thing to, that I wanted to point out is that this is all done with the vision system. This isn't. This can't be done with the factory radar, and that's what I'm going to show you. So this is um, all the CAN data from this event. Here we have my speed. I was going about 51, 52 miles per hour and broke down to about uh, 45. So six, seven mile per hour deceleration um, and just, you know, less than two seconds. So um, not a huge braking event, but um, noticeable. And this is how OpenPilot reacted. And then down here at the bottom, we have what the factory radar system is outputting uh, to the car to react. So you see, here's where OpenPilot started this braking event, and here's where the factory system started braking. And this is the difference between when each system recognized that there was a car in the scene. OpenPilot is doing this with the camera on the Eon and the machine learning model. The factory system is relying on the radar and its processing to tell it when to break. Um, so the main thing here is that this was about a, let me zoom in a little bit, this was about a second difference. So we see here that was about 86 point, you know, six. And this is a 7.8. So 
So it's about 1.2 seconds difference between the two. And the reason this is going up is because OpenPilot is slowing the car down and the factory radar is saying, hey, uh, we're falling behind the lead car. You know, it hasn't seen the car cutting in. So it's saying, hey, let off the brakes and catch back up to that car in front of us until this point where it says, oh, you know, hey, I, now I see this car that cut in, we should brake. At this point, OpenPilot's already done all the work. So this graph would obviously look different if OpenPilot wasn't manipulating the speed of the car. It'd probably be a much more aggressive braking event here. And uh, yeah, it, it wouldn't be comfortable at all because the car would have had to brake much, much harder to you know, avoid hitting that lead car. So if we go back and look, you know, it started braking uh, about here, which is, you know, when the car's about halfway in your lane. This is when the factory radar, you know, picks up this car. Once it's almost obscured the lead car is when it recognizes it. I mean, it can recognize stuff, you know, kind of at the edge of the lane. So it saw it, you know, roughly when it's halfway in. But you can see how if... This is also because OpenPilot had started slowing the car down. So we would have been much closer. Uh, you know, we would have been up here when this happened if we were just relying on the factory system. And, you know, OpenPilot has about a one point, it tries to maintain a 1.8 second distance from the lead car. So if you were using the closest follow setting, obviously this is all hypothetical. You'd be much closer and the factory system would have to break a lot harder. Uh, to react here. But I was just really impressed with how OpenPilot handled this. I wanted to show uh, you guys in a quick video and I hope this helps you realize, you know, these big improvements. Props to the Comma team for all the hard work. Um, they're releasing the new Comma 2 on Monday, January 20th, which is tomorrow if you're watching this video the day it was uploaded. And also most people have probably seen it, but I did a collaboration video with Andy Sly. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, we compared uh, his Tesla Model 3 and Autopilot to uh, Comma AI's OpenPilot in my vehicle. We did a series of challenges. It's a 30-minute video, but a lot of informative information there. Um, so check that out if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.